Hey everyone, Luther here. Welcome back to more Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last episode, we entered Lemuria and found out the terrible fact that Piers' mother died while he was away. He has left us for now, but his uncle wrote us a letter so that we could visit Lumpa. So, let's go talk to him. Are you kids peers of traveling companions? The door's broken, I'm afraid. But I opened up a window just above the door. Sorry about this, but you'll have to climb through there. What's the matter? Can't you climb up? Fine, just a moment. Came on this way and get then got stuck here? Can't be very bright. There, is that better? Now climb up here. That is the only use of the rope animation, lowering a rope animation in the game. And it does not play if you don't give your Lash Pebble to Piers. Just a little fact there. If you had given it to Piers, you could have used Lash to climb up there. Now. Honestly, I'm amazed that anyone can travel so far across the world in this age. Say, Piers isn't with you, or why not? If his mother passed away, he's gone to visit her grave. Of course, his mother, he loved her dearly. Terrible loss, it must be hard on him. Well, Piers may not be here, but we still have much to discuss. Piers brought you, you must be working to break the seal on alchemy, right? Yeah. Piers has done quite well in finding me. What mission could the good King Hydras have assigned to Piers? What? Piers has told me nothing of his mission? Really? So you actually have nothing at all to do with alchemy. Our parents were kidnapped by the Fire Clan far to the north. We are only finding the lighthouse, firing the lighthouse beacons to gain their freedom. King Hydras told me that Venus and Mercury have been in Nutty once again. Was that your doing? I'm afraid I know nothing of any Northern Fire Clan. But that's not explained to you, sir. You clearly, you're clearly not related to these two. What are your goals? Creighton joined us on this quest on behalf of Lord Babby of Tolby. Babby? I only know of one man named Babby, but it couldn't... Master Luna, the Babby we speak of is the same man you knew long ago. Ah, so he's still out there, living in the outside world. Well, that might not be the most accurate way of putting it. The most accurate might certainly have an odd way of turning the phrase. He was living, yes, until recently, that is. So, Babby passed away, but only recently, you say. When he finally ran out of his mystic, mystic drafts and spirit began to wane. I no longer know anyone in the world outside. But aren't you Lumpa, the righteous thief? I was called that once, long, long ago. Why do you ask? I bet there's at least one person in the outside world who we still know. Who would that be? There's town called Lumpa in northern Angara. A man named Dompa lives there. I settled that village, and Dompa, he's my son. Now your grandson, Dodanto, rules over your village. Rules? Rules is an ill-sounding word. That's an accurate one, Lumpa. Dodanto is an evil thief who has caused much trouble in Angara. What has become of my son? How could he permit such a thing to happen? Master Lumpa, don't you have any idea how old Dodanto is? He is I am, an old man. He may be older even than I. This news outrages you. Why don't you go and set Dodonka straight? If only I could. Is this the only reason we're here? To bring news to the outside world? No. Yes, yes, I'm sorry we were sidetracked. We have much more to discuss. But before we begin, there is one thing I must say. You don't mind, do you, Felix? Not at all. I knew you. I've discussed this with none but Felix, but I have my own reasons for this quest. What do you mean? Well, 
means that I have my own reasons for wanting to see the beacons lit again. Why are you telling all this now? Because I feel this quest is deeply linked to Lenoria. I thought it odd that Lord Babby should order me to research alchemy. Hey, wait a minute. Is this what you promised to tell us once we reach Lenoria? Yes, yes. May I continue? Long ago, before alchemy's power was sealed, there were many civilizations as advanced and cultivated as Lenoria. The moment alchemy was sealed away, most of these civilizations began to wane, until eventually they vanished. I have formed certain theories now, suggesting that this may be related to the seal on alchemy. Let me get this straight, you felt you couldn't tell us this until we were in Lenoria? And you only wanted to come to Lenoria to test your theories and see if they were true. But even if everything you said is true, what does it all mean? If your theories are correct, the world itself will be vanish, won't it, Kraden? Hughes never spoke of this to you, did he? If you came to Assyria on your own, you are indeed a wise scholar. We would do well to trust you. What do you mean? King Tigris and I, as well as the others in Lemuria, hold the same beliefs that you do, Kraden. You do? Civilizations thrive by building upon the knowledge of the past. Knowledge gained in one generation should be taken even further by the next, thus knowledge and learning continue to grow. This is the natural course of civilization. But where is the world today? Great civilizations of old have all withered and vanished. We are all isolated and alone. We've encountered many cultures in your travels. Are any of them people building the great sanctums and lighthouses you have seen? No, they're not, but this is not the only sign of decay you have theorized. I think it's best that you hear to rest directly from His Majesty King Hydrus. Yes, Green, we shall go visit the King. Ah, but King Hydrus is in council with Lord Conservator. We might not be allowed in. Conservator, that fool. He refuses to acknowledge what he can see with his own eyes. I will meet with the King and press our evidence upon Conservator. Come with me. Gah, stupid door! Ha! <sighs> Last, you are open. <coughs> to the king's chambers. He doesn't want to be as old as Lord Patty was, but he has so much energy. He's got a fire in him. I do wish I could have heard more about Lord Babby. But come, Felix, to this king's palace we go. To the king's palace. We seek the council of the science of the king. Follow this passage to the doors of the king. It's never leaving me to conserve him in good mood. Lord Felix, correct? Well, I have six Venus genes, so I guess so, yeah. So it seems the words of which he spoke have arrived. So will your eyes be up to to us immediately. There is no need for that. Let us go to that. Hydra, would you see me dishonored thus? They ought to present themselves to us! I do not go to present them. I'm merely going to where they are. I have something that I wish to show everyone. Regardless of your reasons, sire, I will not go to them. Do as you will, so to However, we shall go. I heard of your arrival. It was quite remar remarkable you were able to reach the Morgan. Welcome! Allow me to introduce my commander. This is Shiva, Jenna, Felix, and Kraken. Kraden is the one who told me the outside world civilization and their condition. Ah, Kraden. Lunta describes you as a remarkable scholar. Your research impressed us. Thank you, Your Highness. It's 
theories are correct. Our world is now on the path to destruction. You are on the way to destruction. And who is the scientist? You, Hydros? Some civilizations have vanished, surely, but that is the way of the outside world. Look around me. Lemuria remains unchanged. Don't look at yourself. Lemuria has been slow to climb for ages now, but that can be. I must trust the scholars have reached this conclusion after extensive research. I sent peers to confirm this. So you admit it, Hydros. You violated dir the directive of the Senate. If you use the tidal wave as your chance to send peers away despite our commands. You're incorrect. The tidal wave will carry me away by chance alone. Conservator, you must know that the tidal wave is caused by Poseidon's return. Only a fool would have chosen to send a man to sea if he knew that this would have happened. What was it that you intended to have Pierce confirm? This map shows the ancient world when Lemuria is still traded with people on many continents. It was a great age. A time when the world shone shines brightly. And this is the map Lunga had with him when he arrived in Lemuria 150 years ago. I used this map to sail around the world, it was quite accurate. Incredible! You understand, Chris? What do you understand? Well, unless my eyes deceive me, the continents have shrunk since the Golden Age. That's insane! It is not insane, it is true. Perhaps this will make the point more clearly. Look at these two maps side by side. There is no mistaking that the continents on this map are clearly smaller. Lies! Nothing but lies! What do you hope to gain from forcing these lies upon our people? You know well that I hope to gain nothing more than the truth. And who do you expect will believe such nonsense? If you do not believe this evidence, the evidence before your eyes, what do you believe? Do you believe the Lemurian map to be accurate to this day? Tell me, you were able to investigate this matter, were you not? Thanks to Felix and my companions, I was able to travel much of the Eastern Sea. And what did you find? I found the truth that Lunga matches the more accurate. However, the world seems even smaller now than it appears on Lunga's map. What are you saying? Time itself is stopped. Think of where it is a living, breathing being possessing its own life force. Four elements that are nourishment needed to sustain this being. Crazy. This is exactly what King Hydrus himself has said to me. Ever since Alchemy was sealed away, the world has been cut off from its nourishment. It's gone into a state akin to hibernation. By using less energy, Glare prolongs the flood. Yet, when hibernating, the being has only stopped its own clock, not the flow of time around it. When a bear sleeps through a winter, it needs only wake with spring, and it awakens if it nourish its weakened body. But if spring never comes, the bear will eventually die. Glare is wasting away, its continents shrinking, because its spring has never come. Hydrus, how can you make such outrageous claims? The world is not alive. Tell me, Conservator, why do you think Poseidon has returned? Do you have the answer, Hydrus? Come on the lighthouses. Flips and his companions have lit the beacons on both Mercury and Venus lighthouse. What? Have you any idea what will happen if you set that evil loose upon the world again? Yeah. You know it could bring about the destruction of the world, and yet you did it anyway? My lord, you cannot possibly intend for these people to light the remaining beacons. I do indeed, Conservato, and I also fear the possibility of Galvany will destroy the world. But I cannot stand by knowing that I, knowing as I do that the world will wither and die if we do not act. This is madness, Hydros. Does the threat of Alchemy mean so little to you? Would you put the world in even greater danger to satisfy your theories? If only two of the beacons lit, I assume you send a, intend to send peers out again. I will go, Lord Conservator. Fearless has need of my power. Go, Fearless. Both of you do say farewell, for you will never be able to return. You will be banished from Lemuria forever. You know, my love. Are you prepared for the outcome? 
I myself am disgusted by the whole matter. I take my leave with my drinks. But I warn you, I will not permit you to go through with this matter. <laughs> At guard. What will you do, Your Highness? I knew this outcome was inevitable. I cannot sit silent while the world drifted down the path of its destruction. I want you to light the remaining beacon before you return. That's what we intend to do, but we cannot leave the Eastern Sea. I have already heard this problem. I found that I accidentally had some ruins back in my days as a thief. I'm not sure what it is, but it seems to contain some powerful signs. It seems to. You are not certain. It's a sign that we were millions are unable to use. I understand you travel with many different kinds of atoms, do you not feel it? If we include peers in our group, we have one atom for each of the four elements. Then at least one of you should be able to use the synergy that this contains. King Hydra believes the item can only be used by one who has synergy of the earth. If I'm not mistaken, the powerful synergy we call Brian. The master of synergy to reach the block of shall pose no trouble anymore. Brian, you should be able to create a path by which you can sail into the western sea. Go, Grey Mattis! By your hand, may the remaining lighthouses burn bright once more! That sign is quite powerful. It can only be trusted to a very few people. Though the time is given it to you, it should illustrate how great his expectations are. I have no doubt that your journey will be fraught with ever increasing danger. We are counting on your feelings. about time that we leave Lemuria. So, let us go. We have no more reason to be here. Except for that one thing that we saw on the way here. There's a reef in the way. Should be a way. Setting off now. Then to see we go. Um, Pierce? Yes, Shiva? What is it? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Something I have to ask you. Ask me, Shiva. You and I look but roughly the same age, but how old are you really? Is that your question, Shiva? It's not important. At least to me, if you're much older than us, then I'm afraid we've not shown you proper respect. She's got a point. Don't worry about such things. Please, treat me as you have all along. No, that won't do. You have to tell us. What? Come now, this is silly. No, Piers, tell me. You're afraid you haven't shown me your proper respect and yet you make demands of me? Come on, Piers, you can tell us. How old are you really? This has nothing to do with respect. You just want to know how old I am, don't you? <laughs> I knew it! Come on, Felix! Can't you get them off my back? You're in this too, aren't you, Felix? I've had with your conspiracies. I will not tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I guess in the next episode we'll go get that thing. See you guys later.